Hello, welcome to the second Honest Review. Today we have this amazing deck that I got from Max Playing Cards. It is called the Victoria by Nikolai Arrow. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that name. It is printed in Europe by NPCC in Ukraine. And it is the Volto edition. It has uh, the nice thick cellophane on it. It doesn't matter how much I try, it is impossible to tear it up. Uh, maybe if I try it really hard. See, impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Impossible. It's very, very strong cellophane. So it is numbered. This one is 1,521 out of 2,500. So that was just 2,500 printed. Let's 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 open it up. Mm -hmm. Good quality cellophane. Yes. See, this is no ordinary cellophane. This is uh, yeah. Good stuff. There's a lot of gold foil, which is super nice. And a lot of really nice embossing. So there's a combination of gold foil and embossing. And even there's even a spot UV. That's great. It's a lot of really cool stuff. It says Vittoria on one side and Volto on the other side. That is the addition. And yeah, look at that seal. Uh, that seal is nice. It's an un untraditional. Is it untraditional? Non-traditional? Not intraditional. It's not a traditional seal. <laughs> it has this cut in it. It's pretty cool. And the print on it is nice. This is a good seal. I like that seal. With numbering on it. Let's open it up. Breaking the seal. Could have used the knife. I didn't. Let's look inside. Hmm, nice. Mars Bud UV on the flap. Meow. And did it focus? Yeah. There are spot UV details on the little flaps uh, that say VNV, Victoria Volto, probably. There's like a cross sign. I, I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Can you respond to me? Can you answer? Can you see that? If you can see that, put in the comments that you can see that. You know, I need to know because I'm blind. I'm a blind person, you know? It's fully gold foiled on the inside of the box. It smells good. See that? That's really cool. I like this is a really nice box. Now let's look at the cards. <laughs> the gold might be a metallic ink. But I don't know, maybe not, because I'm blind, I told you. <laughs> Firstly, what I like about it, the border, the border is pretty thin, it's pretty well aligned. Right? It's not perfect, but it's really good. It's not that well aligned, but maybe, you know, she's got a bad deck. It's not perfectly aligned, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty well aligned. No, it's not. That doesn't matter. It matters to some people, but like me, because I'm a dick. No, I'm just very demanding. Hmm. Okay, these are very pretty. It represents the second volume in the Florus drama series by artist Nikolai Ero with colorful chords that are illustrated by hand. That was my best Czech accent. That's cool. So that's the second one. I might assume that this, the Hunters of York, might be the first one, but maybe my assumptions are just stupid. I'll find out. Back to the cards. I didn't say much about the back design. So it's a floral back design. It's a floral pattern. There is a um, blue-greenish, um, it's probably a well-known fact that men can recognize just about three colors. So blue and green are one of them, uh, two of them, see? 
So this is some something in between. <laughs> yeah, and there is a gold. Looks like a metallic gold in the middle. It's very nice. I like the the quality of the cards, the way they spread. Magicians might not love it. They don't really spread equally. They're not that, you know, slippery as we're used to from the American company. Or is it Belgian company now? I don't know. So I mean United States Bank Card Company. Anywho, I don't love the paper stock. They don't spread as nicely as um as the you know butterfly cards. But back to the main feature and the main virtue of the cards is the design. This is a signature card. Then we have probably a carnival parade. Pretty cool. And you can see that in the background there is this pattern and that pattern is on every single card. The faces are borderless, so you can see that it goes all the way to the edge. Here as well. I like the colors. The red is more of a burgundy. I don't know how I learned about burgundy. Uh, yeah, there is a color called burgundy. And this is like burgundy, it's like wine. It's like good Italian wine. Yeah, the palette is great. Look, the green and the purple and the burgundy. Wow, so many colors. The colors are great. So here we have the layout of the pips. Simple and nice, I like. Like, 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 I like. So those were hearts. Now we have diamonds. And the diamond faces have different color schemes. The hearts were burgundy and the diamonds are purple. And that is a very nice color combination. Face cards, super nice. The aces look like so. These are the red aces. And here you can see really nicely the background and how the pips uh, fit nicely in the background. It's really cool, it's very nice. And here we go, we have clubs, clubs and spades. So these are the aces, looking good. The ace of spades, mentioning the addition, Volto. And let's look at the face cards. Clubs are black. We have red and green details. It is very nice. I really like the faces. It's a really good style. Nikolai, good work. Yes, look. See how the middle club is nicely connected with the background? I like that. I like small stupid details like that. Those are really nice stupid little details. <gasps> yes. Oh, I have chills. Wow, that's good. It's a good sign. I really like this blue. This is a very, very nice blue. <laughs> Looky, looky. So these are the spade court cards. And this is an awesome blue. I love this blue. Nikolai, NPCC, good blue. Yeah, I love the blue. You know, some people like things. I like the blue. Hmm. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Looky, what is this? There is something that Andre doesn't love. If I got cards like this from Cardamundi, I would complain. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I think this is what, what happened. So this is what magicians will like. <laughs> I don't like it from the point of view of a card producer, but uh, what this means is the cards are not symmetrical in shape. It probably is a fault of the corner cutter. I'll just take some cards in the middle and I'll trade them like so. Now you will be able to see it. More cards turned around and you can see 
I hope you can see that. You can also see it here. For magicians, it's a great thing because they can uh, identify <laughs> any number of cards that are turned end for end in the deck. And probably they could even, yep, they could take them out just like this. It kind of works like a stripper deck or a Cornish one. So this is a little flaw, which for magicians might be an advantage if they take advantage of it. From a um, point of view of uh, me, I'm a very demanding person. When I see something like that, yeah, I'm like, mm -hmm. luckily these are not my cards, so I'm not that mad because I love the design. The design of these cards, Nikolai, could work. Love it. I like the back design. I love the courts. The court cards are super nice. I would play cards with these cards. If I would play cards ever, I don't play cards. Kids, don't play cards. Not good for money. Or learn how to play cards, play for money, win a lot of money. This video is not for kids. <laughs> good. So now we will go to the other part of the review when I go and Google and ask questions and then I'll come back and tell you the real things, the facts about these cards and maybe correct some of my mistakes and things I, I shouldn't have said, but I said them. So I'm going to put them in the video. I'm not editing anything out. So I'll see you after the little intermission. Hello, I'm Andre and I'm a professional magician. I'm going to show you a trick with a completely ordinary deck of cards. This deck is completely ordinary and it's very suitable for professional magic because it has professional pictures and illustrations on its faces and backs. Now please, while I'm looking away, Select a card. Oh, here, you want this card? Very nice. So please have a look at it and remember it really well. Good. I'm going to put the card somewhere in the deck. And the cards are shuffled really well just before. And I'm not even looking. And the cards, of course, are shuffled in a very professional way. Because I'm a professional. And now, professionally, I will find the card inside the deck. Look, three, two, one, and now magically, like this, the card will appear in my hands. Is this your card? The Ace of Clubs? The beautiful Ace of Clubs? Yes, do you wanna know how it's done? I'm not gonna tell you, it's a secret. Welcome back. So I browsed through the internets and found some very interesting information. First, the colors. The blue on the back is a Vivianet, Vivianite, <laughs> Vivianite blue. It's a Vivianite blue. Obviously, I should have known it's a Vivianite blue. This is clearly a Vivianite blue. And now, uh, while looking at the faces. So the red, remember? The burgundy red is not burgundy, but it is the Azalean red. Clearly, this, of course, of course, this is the Azalean red. <laughs> Clearly, I should have known, I should have told you, it's the Azalean red. One thing that I got right is that, even though I wasn't that sure, the gold on the back is metallic ink. There's another edition of the Victoria decks. So this is Volto. And the second one is the Bauta edition, which is very similar, but has slightly different illustrations everywhere. Oh yeah, while we're looking at the box, do you remember the spot UV? Spot UV here? So this glows in the UV light. So if I would, cast a UV light on it, it would 
light up. That's very cool. That's very cool. And that's about it. I didn't find anything else about it. If you know more about this deck, uh, I would love to find out. Please put a comment down there. Or if you like the, the review, just put a comment and, you know, like it and subscribe. I have to say that. I, I do have to say that. This is very important because if I don't say that, nobody does it. So, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet. And you probably have, right? You have. Have you? You haven't? No, but mostly be honest. Again, if you didn't like it, don't like it. If you didn't like it, don't subscribe. If you liked it, subscribe. It's clear. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon at another honest review. Hmm.